Greetings. Yo, the black light here. Today, I'm going to show you where the Honorable Elijah Muhammad is the hippest man alive. Even though he's deceased, he's alive. Because no one can supersede the teachings of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. He's alive today, yesterday, and tomorrow. Because his wisdom is that powerful. Now we're going to break down why all y'all squares think y'all know the game. We're going to show you today why you're deaf, dumb, and blind. By analyzing the presidents. Now you got Biden and you got the Trump. Now, first off, the democratic system. Now, the democratic system, I heard one brother coin the phrase democratic. That's what it is. Because they're misleading the people. Easter coming up, right? The crucifixion and the resurrection of Jesus, right? I also intend to show you what they're talking about, the black man. And this is uh, the countdown to the resurrection of the black man. This is getting into the month of April Fools. We're going to connect all the dots for you. First of all, showing you that the democratic system is a false uh, psychology, really. They claim to be Christians. They claim to be Christians, right? They claim to be Jews. Christians and Jews. Well, why are they not following the culture and the tradition of the ancestors. They show you the Bible. All the Bible had leaders that were prophets or messengers of the Most High. I call him Allah. Now, if the prophets in the Bible and the Quran, because Muhammad was the leader 1400 years ago of those uh, Muslims or Arabs in that period of time, he co-signed the teachings of Jesus, it illustrates that in the Bible. And if Jesus Christ is the leader of the Christians, why is he not the leader of the Christians today? Why do they need a president when all they got to do is follow the teachings of Jesus or the commandments of Jesus? And Jesus co-signed Moses. Moses is the Jews' man. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad, they ask him, they say, who would be your successor? So the Honorable Elijah Muhammad says to them, Allah chooses my successor. So he said, Almighty God chooses his, his successor and no one will come after him but God. So if all through the Bible and all through the Quran, God or the Most High or Allah or Yahweh, if he chooses his prophets to lead the people like Moses led the people, uh, Solomon and all these different type prophets led the people 
Why not let God choose who he wants to lead, the people? So Jesus was, was showing, the story of Jesus was showing you that when it's time for the people to have a leader, he chooses who he wants to lead them. But the people at that time when Jesus came, was coming up, they didn't want, they didn't want Jesus to lead. So the Jews, when it was time for the Romans to judge Jesus to see if Jesus was uh, teaching the wrong teachings or calling himself God. See, because they wanted, the Romans wanted to be God. And the Pharisees was bowing down to the Romans, just like the preachers are bowing down to the Romans today, the Catholic Church. And the Catholic Church and the Jews, back in the in in Inquisitions, joined together. So you got two different tribes, the Romans and and the Israelite, both of them being Caucasian, wanted to rule over the black man. And the Honorable Elijah Muhammad said that the red, the black, and the brown, and the yellow are all part of the black nation. Like that sister there, you could tell she's black. Because if you got one ounce of black blood in you or one dot drop of black blood they say you're considered black so the Christians say that the church and state don't mix or are separate but there's nowhere in the Constitution where it say that you know so the church and the state are the same. That's why they have you swear on the Bible when you're in the courts. That's why every Senate session or Congress congressional session, they have prayer before they start administrating. So answer those questions, people. Or do you want can't understand where I'm coming from? So that tell you that you're living in a false reality. They say one thing, but do another. That's the sign of the devil. He tells you one thing and do another. So this rolls over to politics. Like Biden criticizing Trump. And now that he got his turn, where's the stimulus money? There's still 30 million senior citizens and others that don't have no money right now. You see? And Congress then went into session, I mean went into on vacation before they'll come back in session again for the Easter break or Passover, whatever, you know. I heard one brother post a video saying it's the Jewish New Year right now. And he's breaking it down. But y'all still don't understand the tricks. So I'm using these two people to show you that you took out your culture. Because in the black man's culture, the elders were councils of the village. You know. And they, uh, some African tribes practice choosing kings but the children of the Most High will let Allah choose. That was the culture. That's why you got Solomon. That's why you got Moses. And that's why they say Jesus is their leader. But they're not practicing none 
of those uh, leaders because they all were speaking as one when they told you that Allah God was the leader all you got to do is follow his commandments stay righteous and don't bow down to the devil so you can't bow down or pledge allegiance to an American flag before you pledge allegiance to our law and if the policies and laws conflict with the laws of our law you are to abandon or separate yourself or else pay the consequences to be continued